कैसे हैं आप लोग तो आओ जा अपने कान में इयरफोन्स डाल लो क्या डाल भी क्यों बहुत तेज हो रहा है All right so first up the gesture navigation Android has been trying to get gestures right since Android Pie and it has consistently failed at implementing them very well With Android 11 the gesture system here is remarkably better than before it's very much like the iOS gestures but the hamburger menu issue is still here and that's annoying I don't know why Google isn't able to solve this problem but it's just irritating to me as iOS is I mean just look at them side by side Anyway moving on Android 11 brings changes to the notification panel. For one I like the conversation grouping. It's no secret that iOS still sucks at grouping notifications. Android is clearly leagues ahead in this regard. Conversations being grouped together makes it easier to find the more important notifications. That's pretty good. There's also the new media controls in Quick Set. It looks like this and expands out to give more controls to you. That's nice. Plus it also has a handy way of switching output devices for the audio. You do have to enable this from within developer settings by the way and then reboot your device but yeah it's there. The native screen recorder here now which is great. I mean I use the screen recorder on my iPhone a lot for recording random PUBG moments and I have never really liked third party options Android has offered. This is a native screen recorder in Android 11 so that's great. The only thing that I don't like about Android 11 screen recorder is that it can't record internal audio. Well, here's hoping Google adds internal audio recording to Android 11 before its final release because otherwise it wouldn't make a lot of sense. Android 11 also brings a scheduled dark mode. Finally, third-party skins have had this feature for a long time and it's something I use on iOS. I have dark mode scheduled to switch on automatically on sunset and turn off automatically at sunrise. With Android 11, I can do that on my Pixel as well, so that's really nice for me. Moving on, Android 11 also brings a redesigned power menu. Yeah, this one with the home controls in the power menu as well. So I can turn my lights on or off and more without having to launch the Google Assistant. This is a pretty big deal because Android has gotten this reputation for poor user privacy, but Android 11 is taking some big steps here. You can now give apps one-time permissions, which is pretty useful. The one-time permission feature is already present in iOS, but man, I want this other feature on my iPhone as well. Speaking of things that iOS also has, The recent app screen in Android 11 has improved quite a bit. It no longer shows the app dock at the bottom, but I actually like it this way. Plus the select button makes it really easy to select text from within apps. I would love to have this on my iPhone to copy paste text without having to completely switch between apps all the time. The screenshot button is also new here. Apart from these major features, Android 11 brings a lot of other changes and improvements as well. You can now once again pin apps in the share sheet which is something I think is really awesome. A similar feature is there in iOS as well, so I don't feel like I'm really missing out on this. That said, iOS's share sheet pops up much faster than this one, so there's that. There's also an option in developer options to display the refresh rate of your screen and there's a new clock option in the Pixel launcher theming settings which will soon let you change the clock design for your always on display. Right now there's only one option here, the default one, but more should be added over time. Anyway, all things said and done, here's what I think about Android 11. I like the new features it brings. I like the notification changes, the home control in the power menu, privacy-centric features and the other changes. Having said that, I would pick iOS's gesture implementation over Android 11's any day. The native screen recorder not having internal audio recording is weird and the much rumored AirDrop like feature isn't live yet. So, my Android 11 experience has been positive coming from an iPhone, but like I said, some of the things need a little fixing.